Hey guys, iOS Pro here today. Apple has released iOS 15 Beta 2 to all developers today. Get out 1.8 gigabytes on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. On my iPhone 12 Pro Max has dealt it. Bill number is 19A5281H. And there are over 30 plus new features and changes that I wanna show you guys today. So let's get started. On the home screen, you'll notice that iOS 15 Beta 2 has a new icon for Macs. See, on, on the left of iOS 15 Beta 1, we've had this old icon in Messages. We go to create a new Memoji. You'll notice that on iOS 15 Beta 2 on the right, you'll notice there's a new option for clothing. So you can now add clothes to your Memoji, which previously on iOS 12 up to now, we couldn't do that. So nice to see a brand new category for Memoji. In Settings, we go to Accessibility, You'll notice that there's a new icon for AirPods. Previously, we had this old icon for a very long time, but now we have the AirPods Max icon. In FaceTime on iOS 15 Beta 2, the SharePlay option is now available. So in Messages, we go to Send and Receive. The SharePlay option is also available for Messages. So in Focus, go to Personal, go to Home Screen. We now have a new thumbnail for custom pages. Previously, it just said how many pages you selected. And there's another new one for hide notification badges. So this was not available on beta one, but it is on beta two. And weather now on iOS 15 beta two on the right, you'll get this new welcome to weather splash screen. See, there's weather apps, notifications, and a new design. Previously, it'll just take us straight to the app. The maps app, where you go choose a new map, and those have the brand new icons for each option. See, explore has a new icon, driving with a caution mark, Transit with actual railway lines instead of going one direction and satellite with a much cleaner view of what it actually looks like. In the notes app on iOS 15 beta 2, you'll get this brand new splash screen when entering notes for the first time. See, it says what's new notes tells you all the new features that iOS 15 brings to the notes app. In settings, we go down to weather, there's a new option for reset identifiers. Okay, so in the weather app, previously when you clicked up the options toggle up here, you got these icons for Celsius and Fahrenheit. But now in iOS 15, you get these new icons for C and F for Fahrenheit and Celsius. In settings, we go to reminders, you'll notice there's a, there's a new label for time below today notifications. Previously, that was not available on beta one. So in settings, go to maps, scroll down, you know it does. Okay, so in settings, go to maps, scroll down, you know it does a brand new layout for the settings page for maps. So, crazy on beta one, share ETA was inside of navigation and guidance, now it's been moved out to the main page. And the rate your route tab has been removed in beta two. In accessibility, we go to visual and audio, go to background sounds. You'll notice that down the bottom, there's a new play sample button below youth when media is playing. So you can hear a sample of the sound will sound like before you turn it on. And the back button has been renamed to audio and visual. So now you know exactly which tab you're in. In Safari, we go to tab view, you'll notice that the star pages star icon is now blue. Previously, it was just gray. So in fitness, you'll notice that there's new icons for, for mindfulness. See, previously they had little box around them, like a bubble surrounding them, but now they're just free floating. In podcasts, in iOS 15 beta 2, there's a brand new splash screen telling you what's new in podcasts on iOS 15. See, shows, latest episodes, and save. In settings, we go down to iTunes U, there's two new options for notifications as side of data. The settings app, we'd go to camera, go all the way down to the bottom, there's a new option for about camera privacy. So now you can read about the privacy and safety concerns as a camera app. In settings, we go to Safari, scroll down, do the brand new option for show color and tab bar. Previously, it was called never use back and color navigation bar. So in beta 2, that's now been removed from advanced and now put in the main page of Safari settings. In accessibility, go to voiceover, voiceover recognition, image description, in the apply apps, additional languages options have been switched places, see? Now additional languages is where applied apps used to be, apply apps is where additional languages used to be. In the photos app now, previously in iOS 15 beta one, when you put a photo in the full screen, this text and image icon would just vanish until you put it, until you bring the controls back. But now in iOS 15 beta two, it now sits at the bottom now, see? Beta one, beta two, you see? the text and image icon no longer vanishes and now stays. So now you can find the text inside your image whenever you want. You no longer have to bring up the controls anymore like this. A magnifier, 
There's a brand new option for people detection in iOS 15 beta 2. Previously on beta 1, that was not available. See, when I go to settings here, people detection brand new. Previously it was not available before. And there's a new option down here in settings for people detection. See, meters, feet, sound, pitch, distance, and all those cool other options. In FaceTime, you'll notice that on iOS 15 beta 2 on the right, you notice that the icons for create link and new FaceTime is more rounded off. See, on beta 1, they had a very, very short curve like that, but now in beta 2, they're more rounded off to match the UI. So in iCloud, you'll notice that on iOS 15 beta 2 on the right, there's a brand new layout for the settings page. So iCloud Drive from beta 1 have moved up above iCloud Mail. And the private relay and home email have been moved above iCloud Drive and iCloud Email. So, and key, iCloud Keychain and, and iCloud Backup have now been moved up to the top, right up here. In screen time, we go to Always Allowed. You notice that Apple changed the icon for the Maps app. See? Old icon, new icon. In settings, we go down to home screen. You'll notice that the check mark on iOS 15 beta 1 is bold, but now on beta 2, it's thin. See? Bold on the left, thinner on the right. See? 15 beta 2 has a thinner check mark for selected items. In schedule summary, you'll notice that there's a brand new UI layout for iOS 15 beta 2. Previously on beta 1, we have this layout. So, now we have a plus button add multiple summaries from here. Previously we had clicked deliver summary between this many times. When I click five times, then you'll get the multiple summaries. But now we add it right here by clicking the add summary button right from here. It's much more efficient here. And in the and summary button here, there's a new option for daily notification average in A to Z. Previously they're stuck in alphabetical order on iOS 15 beta one on the left. But now you can rearrange them however you want by average and HZ. In the health app, we go to browse, go to activity, go down to the bottom. You'll notice the videos for learn about cardio fitness and cardio fitness is low have now switched places. In the files app on iOS 15 beta 2, you'll notice that the on my iPhone icon has now been filled in on the right. Previously on beta 1 on the left, it was just not filled in, but now Apple filled it in. Okay, so in calendar, when you go to year view, you notice that on iOS 15 beta 2, the year view has spread out very significantly. See, the gap between May and February has now been made bigger. And it's so noticeable that you cannot even see the year 2022 anymore, like you could on beta 1. See, on beta 1 on the left, you can see the year 2022. But now on iOS 15 beta 2, you can no longer see it. Okay, so in the settings app, if you go to any tab now, you'll notice that the arrows for the tabs is now thinner. See, on beta 1 on the left, it was a little bit bold, but now in bed too, it's not thinner. So, interesting. So, that is all the changes I found in iOS 15 beta 2. So, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up to my video. Peace out.